Whatever position you put yourself in, you got to work yourself out of. Rose ain't going to cry. We finna grind our way out of this until we own everything we want. I saw the light in a sunrise sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside getting baptized in holy Boys and girls. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite trucker. I'm back, man. Reporting live from the gridiron here at the one more C, man. Hope all is well because God is getting all the time. And especially on this transformational trucking Tuesday, man. Hope you guys have have had a fantastic Tuesday, because I know I did. Let me first start off by saying, God, it's good all the time. That's number one. Number two, man. Um, God is good, man. Um, that's number two, man. Uh, you know, usually I get on this thing and I I, I, de I definitely talk about my day and in the trucking world how how it goes how it is how it's been um all the trials and tribulations that come along with it man and tonight i want to do something different man um tonight i want to do something different man i just want to talk about life in general man nothing to do with trucking i may um have some reference points um that include trucking in a sense but um man i just kind of wanted to do something different man tonight man um man um right now man things are crazy in the world man um things are crazy in the world man um they really are man it's a lot going on at once man um definitely a lot going on man that's affecting everybody in any form or fashion um in any kind of way man however you want to slice it or dice it man um, it's definitely a lot going on, man, and, 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 and it all, at the end of the day, it all stems from, stems from mental health, man. Um, all, all of it stems from it, man. Um, it really does, man. I was listening to this video this morning, man. Um, it was talking about the five things, the five qualities of, of life that we kind of tend to overlook, man, and... Um, it definitely hit home for me um you know it was it was a mm, i think about a 10 12 minute 12 about a 12 minute video um it was really it really hit home man I made some points man things that you know i already do now and and things that i need to start doing you know um one of the one of the things that um that really hit home for me was like you know um this is about the social media, man. How it can, you know, get you on there and get you stuck. You know what I'm saying? It sucks you in and you're stuck, man. And um, where you're just kind of just, man, looking at things that you really shouldn't be looking at. You know what I'm saying? Um, that affects your mental health. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, y'all know what I mean by that, man. There's some things on there that you shouldn't be really looking at that really fucks with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, for real, for real. You know? And, um, you know, I tell my girl, you know, I, and I tell my best friend, I was like, man, look, I really don't get on the gram or the Facebook no more like that unless I'm getting on my stories. And I post my motivational post on my stories and I'm off. You know, because there's some things that are on there that can, you know, motivate you or depress you. You know what I'm saying? It's really not that balance. And then if it is, you've probably been on there 30, 40 minutes and you finally see it. It's like, ah, oh, you know, it kind of hits, hit homes, bring it back to reality a little bit. But it's like, 
by that time I've had all these these negative thoughts or positive thoughts you know I, I'm either one way or the other and it's like man because I know how I'm gonna be uh, I know how I'm gonna get you know what I'm saying so I just try to you know get away from those things that are gonna make my well things that'll that'll fluctuate my mood if you get what I'm saying and um, I know that's definitely a big part of a lot of people's day you know what I'm saying that social media I'm um, getting that love you know what I'm saying um, no matter if it's positive or negative man and I just I get away from that man you know and that's, that's kind of kind of why and how that I've falling back from making my videos so much man um you know i know i'm helping people but at the same time you get caught up in the views you know what i'm saying it's like damn i ain't making enough impact so i'm gonna get away from it it's like it's not about that man you know what i'm saying if i if i get just one view hopefully i impacted that one person you know what i'm saying with something that i've said about the real life about trucking um, about anything, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they, I, I left them something to chew on until the next episode, as I say, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and uh, it's just kind of while falling back, man. I'm just like, let me get away from that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just get away from that, you know, because it sucks you in. You know what I'm saying? The, the Instagrams and the Facebooks, you know what I'm saying? It sucks you into the positive or to the negative, you know, and that's why I like TikTok and uh, 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 Twitter. Twitter. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm getting my motivation to post from. You know what I'm saying? I'm really getting to type my thoughts out on, on the Twitter, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's where that kind of stems from. My thoughts stem from there. Then I'm able to share it on other uh, platforms. You know what I'm saying? And then, or Snapchat. But that's neither here nor there. I'm kind of falling off on that too. Really seeing what's, what people got going on day to day. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that too. You feel me? It's just like the Twitter and the, and the, and the TikTok because I can, I can learn a lot on both of them more than I can on any other social media platform, you know. And TikTok is very informative. It's like the uh, 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 video version of Pinterest, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's very informative, you know, and I can laugh, feel good, and be around some people that, I'm not, that don't know me and I don't know them in a sense, you know what I'm saying? It's just really be me and not be judged you know what i'm saying you know it's it's it's, it's like the saying they say man i'd rather be judged by six than carried by 12 you know what i'm talking about um more you know i it just can't be judged no judge you know judgment judge free zone you know what i'm saying um but it's just a lot going on man you know um it's just a lot going on, man. It really is, man. I'm scared to, to an extent. It's depressing to an extent. Um, it's got you everywhere, man. You just don't know what to, to, to think day to day, minute to minute. Because one minute, you know, everything's cool and dandy. Next is like, shit, my house on fire. You know, somebody ran off the road. You know what I'm saying? Um... I got fired, you know, it's like, some got hijacked, you know, and it's like, man, God, 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 you know what I'm saying, and right now we need to be big on our faith, man, um, gotta be big on our faith, man, um, just gotta be big on our faith, man, I know I'm kind of ranting and raving every which way right now, man, and, um, almost got to a point where I wanted to stop stop this video because it's like you really not making no sense but I'm making a lot of sense you know what I'm saying um it's just about how you talk to yourself man that conversation that you have with yourself you know remind my best friend of that all the time man that conversation that you have with yourself man is 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 precious man it's precious you know what I'm saying um how you talk to yourself you're de we're delicate man no matter how hard we think we are um we're delicate you know what i'm saying we're very delicate and it's that conversation that you have with yourself man that takes you a long way you know what i'm saying it takes you a long way man um 
you know, I made this post yesterday. Um, my greatest gift that a man can give is discipline. You know what I'm saying? Having that discipline to talk to yourself in the right manner. That discipline to not abuse certain things. You know, that discipline to get up and, and get after it. You know what I'm saying? The discipline to put certain things down. You know, and, and 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 be beneficial. You know what I'm saying? It's those things, man. I mean, that greatest gift a man can give is discipline, man. Because it'll take you a long way, man. It'll open a lot of doors, a lot of doors, man. Having that discipline. Those doors might not open when you want them, but those doors are opened when it's time. You know what I'm saying? When it's time, man. Um. You know, and I was having this conversation with my boy today when I was I had a few minutes where I was stopping and I was warming my food up, man, my lunch. And um and I told him I said, Man, you gotta know the difference between reminiscing and looking back. You know what I'm saying? Um when you're looking back over your shoulder, man, you worried about something. You know what I'm saying? You worried about something. Something that's occupying your attention that shouldn't be. But when you reminiscing that's right there. Put a smile on your face. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you going. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you going in the right direction, man. You know, so you got to know the difference between reminiscing and looking back. Looking back can slow you down. You know what I'm saying? As I'm, you know, I'm running my race, standing in my lane. I'm reminiscing. I'm getting somewhere. I'm going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing something. You feel me? Like, it's a big difference, man. You know, you can't, as, they, as a lot of people said, man, you can't tell your dreams to small-minded individuals, man. I know something like that is going to go over a lot of people's head, and that's totally fine with me, man. I'm just doing my part by sharing it. I'm doing my part by explaining it. You know what I'm saying? And the rest is on whoever gets it or don't get it. I'm just doing my part when it's time. You know what I'm saying? When I'm called upon, I'm trying to share it, trying to give it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something with it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, and, you know, another thing that I was, that on the, uh, the video I was watching this morning, and I, I was talking to my best friend about it yesterday, um, it's about that comparison. You know what I'm saying? Get caught up in that comparison, man. Um, I had this saying, I'm trying to think of it real quick. I thought of it yesterday, and it's funny, and I heard about it this morning in a different way. The death to confidence is comparison. The death of confidence is comparison. Getting caught up out of comparison. My life should be this. My life should be that. Oh, this. Oh, they got this. Oh, they got that. You know, getting caught up in that, bro. And it's like when the, the gentleman I was to this morning, he was talking about. It's easy to get caught up in that. So what are three things that you love about yourself? And I had to think about it for a moment. And I thought about it. And I was like, I had more than three. And that was just great. That's great. But he just said three. And to narrow it down to three, I narrowed it down and I posted it. And it's like, say those things every day. That's a part of your daily affirmations. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of those daily affirmations, man. You know, and, and the three that came to mind that I wrote on my list were, maybe not in this order, were my, so my mental toughness, my selfish, selflessness, and my ability to adapt. Um, those are three things that I love about myself, um, where I'm able to adapt to any situation, any environment, um, just be able to adapt, put me in a room and I'm going to adapt, I'm going to find a way, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to figure it out, I ain't got no choice, you know what I'm saying, um, my mental toughness, man, um, we're all stronger than we give ourselves credit for, you know what I'm saying, just that mental toughness, man, they keep going, they keep going, yeah, I got a flat tire, yeah, you know, this happened. Yeah, that happened. But I have no choice but to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Got to keep going. 
I gotta get mine. You know what I'm talking about? Um, just gotta get mine. You know what I'm talking about? Gotta keep going, man. And just, like I said, ability to adapt, man. The mental toughness, man. And when push come to shove, man, knowing it ain't about me. You know what I'm saying? Like sharing this video right here. The selflessness and showing this video, man. Sharing this video, man. Making this video, man. You know what I'm saying? I could be working on something else. Laying down. I don't know. Bullshit. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But my selfless, selfless, selflessness, man. Um, push come to shove, man. You know, I, I challenge you guys to... to Find three things that you love about yourself, man. Say those things daily. You know what I'm saying? Just three. Three things. Be part of your daily affirmations, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, when this heard that this morning, I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. I was just talking about this yesterday. You know what I'm talking about? Heard it this morning. I said, I was just talking about this yesterday, bruh. But... It's a lot going on, man. But we got to stay together, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to stay together. Got to stay motivated. And got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Moving moving forward, man. Taking those baby steps forward. You know what I'm saying? Got to continue to do that, man. Uh, we ain't got no choice, man. Ain't got no choice. Can't cry over spilled milk. You know what I'm talking about? Can't, can't, we can't do that, man. Can't do that. Can't do it, man. Um, like I say, man, hopefully this video helps somebody. I know it's helped me by sharing it because um, I, I felt the, mo the the spirit move me to share it. And um, like I said, man, I may be everywhere, um, but it don't matter. Um, you can fill in the pieces, fill in the blanks, and um, and make something of it. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm saying something that you can take take with you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm just trying to do my part, man. That's all, man. That's really all I'm trying to do. Because I've, I, I speak those things that I want into existence. Because I have everything that I need. I speak those things that I want into existence. Because my work ethic. My work ethic, man. Because I know what I want. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... I'm trying to get in my, I'm I'm working to get myself in, in a situation where I'm not robbing Peter to pay Paul or I have enough to pay everything and keep stay afloat, keep going, keep rolling. You know what I'm saying? And then once it's time it's like that's what it was for. That's what it's been about. You know what I'm saying? When that time comes, well it's gonna work itself out, man. It really is. I know it is. I have no doubt in my mind, man. So, um, like I say, man, for they ready to hit these sheets, man. Ready to make this haul to um, Mexico tomorrow, man. So, um, continue to ask your questions. Continue to do your research, man. You know, as I always say, man, that belief in yourself plus the mindset you can do it is a contagious behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice. Outlast the average and take everything to the bloodstream until the next episode. <laughs>